Is this after, after Wick? Pen no, this is this is before. Uh, so the, the, this is still up in. Um... Yeah. So um, Stromness, then Rackwick, and then the 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 bit of sea between um, the bit of ocean between Hoy and the top of Scotland is the Pentland Firth, and that is basically it's a really um, it's a fast running tide because on the on the on the western side you have the Atlantic, and on the uh, eastern side you have the, the Great the North Sea and stuff. So and that. When the tides tides run, there's a massive current runs runs between there. I bet. Which is why they, they it's it's good for um, you do all the wave stuff, you know, for the the um, uh, yeah, the, the re renew renewable the power. Yep. Yeah. And then let me go down to Wick, and then I thought, well, it's a bit it's yeah. a bit dull running down the right down the east coast. So we'll nip across, and there's a massive lock. I can't remember what was it called. Lock um, Shin. Shung. Thank you. Lock Shin. So we'll run oh. all, all the way down Lock Shin. Uh, and then down to um, down to Infragordon and uh, down the Cromarty Firth, uh, Dingwall, and into Inverness. Wonderful. Uh, Might be Loch Sheen, actually. Yeah, could be. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got a kind of a rough idea. I've got a rough idea for leg two, but really, what I need you guys is to is to chime in with anywhere that on the Grand Tour you want. You know, you you specifically want to see. So I think at the yeah. moment the leg two, because we're at Inverness, will run down. Um, we'll run down Loch Ness. I think I've brought it out right to um, some of the mountains on the right-hand side, and then across to. Uh, so we cross over and cross Mull, and then I think we land in Tyree. This but is after Inverness. This is this is leg two at some point. Whenever we get to do leg, leg two. Leg two, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I then would, and I then would... go on, John. Lincoln and Ryder in Wales in the Elan Valley for me. Okay, right. Well, yeah, I think the thing to do is just chuck them in that um, Grand Tour UK resources. Uh, me. And then Where we'd like to survive. Yeah, and then we'll... Uh... Amersham, Isle of Wight. <laughs> well, we'll, be, well, we'll end up at the Isle of Wight, because uh, oh. that's, um, that's, I think, that's the furthest south any of our group has any relationship with, unless, Dave, you have anything for, no, no. No, further south. Oh. Hull, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hull, yeah. No one wants to go there. No, not even virtually. <laughs> well, the thing you is... You can go, to, go, go to Booker down to the island because there's a little airfield at Booker. Oh, yeah. Well, And I'll try and find relative, stuff that's relative and drop it into that, you know, for the for yeah. the bits of scenery. Uh, yeah. Leg yeah. three will probably... Leg three will... Yeah, maybe Glasgow, Edinburgh, then come down to Newcastle because that's me. Yeah, and then do we go down the hull or do we cut across the the left coast? Well, yeah, well we, that's plenty of time. So that's that's way ahead. We could do we could do Hull Lincoln because they're quite close to each other. Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's a fair do, point. Yeah. yeah, do do Bomber yeah. Bomber County. Yeah, they have got the cathedral there. Look, they, it's they've modelled it. Ah, oh, brilliant! Very beautiful. Right. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Are we going to runway? Yeah. Do you want to right. 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 we go to start to... streaming? Wait a minute! I just got. To... Oh, I've got my plane. Fly. So Kirkwall is the start, the starting point, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Kirkwall, yeah. yeah. EGP, yeah. Yeah. and we'll be heading west. And it'll 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 happen quite quick. It's not it's not that far from Kirkwall to Stromness, to be honest. Little nav map. Have you guys loaded your route? Yes. Your route. Yeah, that's brilliant. That actually, you could do that. I didn't know it existed. I better readjust the time because it's moved on as we've been talking from 1800. <laughs> oh, I don't know. My conditions will be different, won't they? I, I imagine. No, not if you're in the group. No, I'm not. I'm not, John, now. Oh, it looks, looks quite dark up here. Um, yeah, just set your flight conditions to May the 31st and 1800. That's all uh, you've got to do, really. Can I do that from. Like on the ground, or do I have to go back? You'd have to go back. That's okay, I'll go back. Oh, I'd better go back and do that. No, you, you're you in the group, Tony. So oh, I'm worried about that. Oh, okay. Might just been funny for one reason or another. Oof. Okay, let's put some fuel in there. Taz, system test, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the date and time again john please um 31st of may yeah and six o'clock in the evening excellent 
Pick the clock. That's a nice looking airfield. It's because it's in Scotland, that's why. Yeah. And they're, they're, they ignore the trees. Who's rolling down the runway? They have just stopped. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's nice. So are you in the caravan again? Yeah. Nicely. I'll tell you what, my skin, I've got a nice orange interior today. <laughs> Oh, and leather. I did oh, send lovely. it a few weeks ago for the Cap 10, the French Air Force, French Navy skin. Oh, you did a while ago, didn't you? I've got to remember where the brakes are on this thing. I'm going to have to have a look and see. I think I can see it. orange top right. to the fuselage. Um, is that? Let's have a look. Probably. That will have um, French Navy roundels on it. Okay. They're being kissed up the bum by another plane at the moment. Yes, cool way to know we're ready for take. I've got an SR20 in the front of me. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? Yeah. Massive wings, isn't it? Was it you the big Cessna? Is it a big Cessna? That's, yeah. the, that's the caravan. Big... Yeah, that's the sky, sky caravan, they call yeah. it. It's huge. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a big. sky shoe. <laughs> <laughs> They're making an even bigger one now. Tony Lowe looking at it last week. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Rolling. Oh, rough. Rolling. Rough, are we? Rolling. Yeah. Rolling. We're my cap 10 today. Because it's easier for a flight like this. Weather's looking typically British. Yeah. Uh, nice slice is looking really nice for a uh, walkie, to be honest. It should be blowing up soon. We're heading in the right direction too. Are we going to fly with scatter, aren't we? Yes. Hey. Yeah, it's on your, on your left hand side. Place. Yeah. Actually, well, my scout was full of aircraft. Yeah. Berserk dog. I think we up to rock. Oh, nice. Look, I can see him. Um, is that Kirk Hall just to my right? Is that what it is? Uh, yes. You should be able to see Sigmund of Cathedral as well. Sitting on the sky for that, I'll probably shed a tear or two. 
<laughs> he finally, finally got there. Yeah, yeah. It's been taken 50 plus years. I've never actually been in Scotland. No. I've never really been out and had the chance because of work and life and money. I've been to Wales, but I guess I it's a lot closer, isn't it? Yeah. I used to live there anyway when I was younger. Where is everybody? Behind you. We're all just yeah. behind Oh, yeah. So that's that's high on the on the on the uh, on the left. Island. The big one. That's the high, yeah. that's the high hill. That flat island is is grains uh, and then just ahead of me is uh, stripes. It's a bit windy like. Well it usually is yeah. <laughs> Actually I'm not passing that. Oh, that's my sister. that's my sister's house. So um, you're right behind me. Uh, this the, all these all these trees that shouldn't be here. It's kind of a square, a little diagonal, and a little yep. line of trees. In the middle of that, there's a, there's a wee road that runs up with a property start by itself. And that's your sister's house. That's my sister's house. Yeah. So, oh wow, that's incredible. That, that, that's their view. Is, is straight down Hoy Sound. Wow. Hoy Sound. Wow. Literally living the dream. And they're on the road to Clestrain. Yes, and the Hall of Clestrain, you should see on the map, uh, is where the guy who actually found the North West Passage was born. Oh. And he learned he learned to sail in the in the in the sea that they're flying on. What? I just instantly oh. forgot his name. No, just flying out of his sister's house. Yeah. Where is the road? Where? There's some traffic on the road. Yeah. I'm just passing Strombus. Strombus is beautiful. And there's a camper van. John, there's a camper van so right on the very tip of, uh, of Strombus. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Yeah. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> Pull up. Going now, we'll be actually we need to come off all the pilot, come off the roof of it. Um, let's go. Why pilot? What's that? Let's go. I'm with a cap 10. <laughs> <laughs> so let's fly along the edge of, of, of Hoy. So, do you remember, uh, Tony, you will remember mm. when they first climbed Hoy in the televised in the 60s? Do you remember seeing that one? Oh. No. And they did, I've, I've seen it on YouTube. Yeah, and they dragged all the cars and stuff. That was over that hill on our left hand side. That's this. Um, and they've just got sea eagles just up to uh, just up to the And Rackwick Bay. Are you going to the west of the island? Oh right, oh, no, it's so tough on that. Yeah. You'll see, I'll, 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 uh, I'll do a circuit round the old man at Hoy, as you can see. If you, if you download the, the tour of the phallic to yeah. uh, But Thingy Davis, the, the, the composer, he, um, he 
see the bay, um, the, 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 you'll see that's that's Rackwood Bay. Uh, and he had a house on the side of that hill. Uh, he lived there for a couple of years. Kind of Slightly off, uh, yes. Off to the west yeah, we're slightly. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll so I've actually walked. I've walked. There's a there's a path you can probably see it on. Uh, it's a path that runs from that bay up that hill, uh, right to the edge of the old man. Uh, I guess the old man. And oh, that, oh, yeah. There's that path. Look, you see the path going across the across the hill. So I've, I've walked that to, to the old man. And, and there's a uh, that that bay. So it's Rackley and there's, um, there's a little Bothy estate. Um, they've done a quite a bit of which is just some just serious clip here. Yeah, it's one of the high, uh, it's one of the highest um, Duncan Street. No, not the Duncan Street. Terrain ahead. Um, when you to do the water, you can see that the the on the edge of the uh, back of the are actually red because the lots of long bridge, lots of fish fell into the sea. Right. So just coming round to the old man. Right. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll turn around and come back. <laughs> Look at all these people up here. Yeah, quite a few, isn't there? Sort the textures out, Microsoft. I know. I mean, it is still stunning, isn't it? I mean, you can just imagine. <laughs> but, come on. <laughs> it's like they've got to the edge and then let a toddler colour in. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, the. <laughs> it kind of, I think, reference this to when we get to um, down the comedy first. Cause I, I flew in X plane, I did the same flight uh, as a comparison. I flew in X plane. To Inverness, and I did the same in um, 2020. And I was like, well, let's point left to do the, do the, should do the scene much better the coast, much better. And I'm actually, when I got the comedy, I'm like, oh, actually, this is really good. But it's not good up here. I think they've kind of just. They've, they've forgotten all Kenny Evan there. Yeah, they've, they haven't got this high up. The old man looks good though. Yeah, it's because it's with third party. Yes. Decent mod of it. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a nice little walk. Uh, you get the ferry across to uh, across the point. I never realised the Orkneys were so mountainous. Hoy is no. Hoy is very very mountainous. Um, there's not many hills on on mainland, no. uh, but Hoy is the top. The north north of Hoy is is, is pretty pretty heavy. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. Right, so you're just coming up to Rackwick Bay on your left hand side there. This is the this is the route the ferry takes from uh, from Scrapston uh, uh, near Thurston, port of Scrapston, and comes up at the end of Hoy like that, goes past the old man of Hoy. So John, you'll get to see that when you, when you, when you drive up and get the ferry from the top of Scotland. To yeah, that's where the jobs are there across the street. Jocks. Yeah. <laughs> what does it? What is a jock? I could call you that, Ed. I see. Actually, born. You 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 were born in um, Glasgow. You were born in Glasgow. Oh, no problem. You have got the accent a little bit there, Tony. Yeah, you got the old <laughs> got the Scotch whiskey cursing through your veins. Right, 
Okay, so we've got a 13 mile jaunt across here. There's a. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's a lighthouse. There's a, there's a lovely. Uh, it's the, um, it's the uh, AI piloting. As soon as you click it on, it holds it. But it pushes the throttle up a bit, that's why you're going. Yeah. Control, Alt, X. It is left control, left control, left Alt and X. What's that do? And um, gives the control to your co pilot, not the <laughs> AI pilot. <laughs> no, okay. I thought that was the AI pilot, just on and off. No, there's, a, there's, a AI, there's AI piloting in this, but also co piloting. No, I, I, I didn't know that. So I've done it. Left control, left all X. Okay. So is that is that over and above the autopilot? Yes. Yes, this is some different thing. Yeah, it's a different different thing. Ah, so that just holds the route, does it then, John? Just, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, your co pilot, he or she, I've got she, will um follow the route basically. Oh. Excellent. But yeah, that's di that's different to uh, Setting the autopilot. To yeah. Just it's got four beats. Yeah. Yeah. Ba basically, what that does is hand control to your virtual co-pilot, not yeah. not the autopilot. Yeah. Which allows you to look around the cockpit. Yeah. And build, basically. And yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I've got um, on the PA28. Doesn't it, I can do the autopilot so that it'll tie up the GPS to the to the to the, to the autopilot. Um, but the real plane there's no um, altimeter set, so if you go you can't set set a, a, a height, but it'll hold it. Altimeter, altimeter, and the altimeter. But the uh, the just like the built a little hack in so you just click above a little a dial and it didn't hold the altitude. Yeah, that's pretty good. They're on the same heading as us, aren't they? Um, Unless, unless they're, they're what are they? They're going to Inverness, so I think. Well, they could be on the they could be on route from across across the America doing you know doing the, the long hauls. Uh, I believe that they're going south, aren't they? Yeah. I, I reckon they're going over to Inverness, Lossy Mouth maybe, or even further or down to Glasgow. Glasgow, possibly, yeah. But they seem to be on the right trajectory for Glasgow, I think. So, Dunnet Head, we're just passing. This is a, this is really, really, oh, really, really steep. And off, uh, off your left wing, you've got John O'Groats. Uh, what's really oh, cool, really? when you when when you when you stay on Hoy, all you can see at night time, all you can see around are all these uh, lighthouses going off. Because obviously they're all. Oh wow. Oh, that's really good, yeah. We're just at the base of the cloud here, aren't we? Yeah, just yeah. keep, yeah. Keep it well, have you explored these areas quite a lot then, Mark? Uh, only in so much that I've... Um, where are we? Where am I going? Uh, We're heading to the Perso. Yeah, so... Um, Off your port wing um, is where the ferry goes out uh, right. to. I'm just, I'm just turning now for the. Uh, is that Castleton or.? No, so it, it goes from a place called Scrabster, so if you go up from um, Thurso. Oh, right, Scrabster, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's where, yeah. the, that's where the ferry goes from. 
ashes off your, off your stove and things like that. Grab the sea food, grab the gear store. Yeah. Uh, Safety out, healthy. So you drive all the way up on the, on the A9, all the way up. It's a long drive. All the way up. It's nine hours. Wow, it's yeah. a nine, nine hour drive just, just to see that. Wow. Wow. Okay, nine hour for you. It's like nearly oh. 12. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah you'll have to do it in the middle. So one, once we get over it, this is a bit tall up here. It's, uh... I plane turned automatically and followed the route. Yeah, that's How brilliant. Oh, yeah. Well, I might do it. How dare it. I might do. You no, know, I didn't. I had to manually take it off and turn. Oh, okay. I might not stick it on again, see if it does it, actually. I think it just sort of goes straight. Yeah, you sign Mark, sorry. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh. About the ferry. Oh yeah, so it's a nine nine hour drive. Uh, and there's always a bit of stress because A it's the A9, uh, which is mostly single it's not dual carriage roads, you know, A road. Which means it's full of bloody camper vans and caravans yeah, and all yeah. doing forty miles an hour. <sighs> so it's uh, yeah, that's 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 the downside of it. It's not so bad once you get past. Um, yeah, you can have it because once you get past you know, Tame, maybe some of that door. Once, once you get past Inverness, it starts to calm down a bit. And running running all the way up the A9, up Helmsdale, and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's just a long drive. But there are two ferries, there's one from Scrubster and there's one a little bit further along, uh, which goes from... Uh, Gills Bay he goes from, and he's a, he's a private, uh, a private operator, he's a cat and ride type thing, uh, that's a bit cheaper and it's a bit quicker because it goes, it goes to that little hop across the Berwick, it's a bit of a bit of a to look. Because the main one, the Calmac one, is, uh, is obviously funded by the Scottish Government. Yeah, has that been stopped at the moment? Or something? Was that in the news? Some of them have. It's like they're, they're going wrong because the SNP are crap at running Scotland. Yes. <laughs> we should be fine because uh, the, the, the Kyle runs Gills Bay. Um, he'll, he'll make a fortune on yeah. He had to build his own. He had to build his own uh, ramp and stuff to get. To, 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 the work wouldn't help him at all. Really? Crazy. Man. Windmill. Oh, there's a sort of this here. Like a straight sort of goes right to the sea. What on earth's that? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So, what on earth is that? Is it on the? Is it on? Uh, oh, maybe it's a railway line. Though. It might Possibly. be. Some, might be something to do with oil. Might be something to do with oil. Oh, sub C seven. Oh, is it an electrical power cable? Must be, yeah. Oh, oh from the Netherlands, yeah? Yeah, there's a... They, oh, Norway, Norway, they're, they're supplying us with them certain stuff, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Energy? Yeah. No. Sort of running a massive extension lead to the UK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah basically, yeah. Thanks, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> we, we, we are having... Uh, up near us is a thing called, uh, it's just been built, it's called British Vault, the UK Vault, uh, near Blythe. And uh, it's going to be a massive electric car battery manufacturing plant. Oh wow. And it uses so, it uses so much en energy that we can't supply, we can't provide it with enough energy, so we're having to, uh, oh, yeah. it's having to be brought in from Europe, so they're having to run a cable to the plant. Bloody hell. 
from Europe because we, we haven't got the we haven't got the we haven't got the uh, capacity to, to, to supply. That is absolutely to make to make car batteries that everyone's going to plug in at seven o'clock when they get home from yeah. work and the grid's going to go down. Yeah. When your car goes wrong. The thing is, though, at the minute, every, you, know, you can have the free charging points. But as soon as everything like disappears with petrol, they've got all the controls as soon as everyone's got electric and then they start charging you. Yeah. Putting it on a meter and stuff. There's probably petrol pumps, but there'll yeah. be small garages and villages and stuff. Yeah, it'd be, I guess it'd be a phase out. Yeah. It won't happen overnight. No. Can't remember the capacity to do it. No, yeah, well, especially if they can. They can't supply a bloody. I know it's probably a massive mega factory, but if they can't supply a factory with electricity. <laughs> to build, not many, to build batteries for electric cars. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, Not many people can afford um, electric cars yet either. Right, exactly. Do you see that? Uh, oh, it's Facebook or a YouTube one where that um, was it a car was it? This car was charging, and there was, it had a van next to it, and two cars next to it, all charging. And it, the battery went. The battery must have blown when it was it was charging. Well, bloody hell! It was like a. Um, it was like it was under pressure. Jet of flame came, set the set the van next next yeah. next door to it on fire. That caught up, and then the two cars next to it all all, all lit up as well. It's just a oh, yeah. massive okay. conflagration. Lithium is nasty though, isn't it? Lithium, yeah, dangerous, horrible stuff. And if your battery goes, it's twenty, thirty grand, isn't it? Yep. Oh my god. Well, I think Tesla, you can't send them to like a, a third part of the garage, can you? You have to like send it back to them. No, and if, you, if your 1.6 diesel engine goes, well, here you go, yeah. oh god, it's expensive, but you can, at least it's, it's moderately affordable. Yeah. yeah. Are we landing here or carrying on? Uh, carrying on, I think. I think we need to, I think, due to the constraints of light, we might need to uh, rush on a bit. Am I ahead of you again? Are you? Full mm -hmm. night. Flashing on. Oh, there's, 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 got, there's Tony below here. What, what is that little town that John's over there? Wick. 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 Yeah. Don't bother doing it, Wick. <laughs> I do apologise if anyone's watching. Uh, <laughs> but really, uh, you should have moved by now. How come? It's alright. It's quite nice. It's, it's alright. It's, yeah, it's just a bit. As its name implies, <laughs> it's a bit. It's stuck out on the East Coast, it's a bit drinking. A bit drinking great. Bit like Felix Day then. Say again? A bit like Felix Day then. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of vibe to it. Plankton. Right, so this is this is the longest leg race. It's a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a dull leg. 55 minutes. I think we worked out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, some nice scenery coming up below us though, aren't they? Speed distance. What's uh? So we've got 55 miles. Oh, we're going almost pressure fields, aren't we? Almost, but not quite. How fast are we going? 120? 120 knots. Yeah, 120 knots. It's 55 miles. The required time is 27 minutes, 30 seconds, so half an hour on the So this is going to take us across to Loch Shin. Is it Shin or Sheen, Tony? Really? S H I N. S A H I N. Do you not? Like, you're in a in a in a jock, isn't yeah. it? Sort of chiming in. S A H I N. Yeah. No, I don't have that. Do you have odd cravings? Do you find yourself craving battered food? <laughs> in a in a inappropriately inappropriately battered food. <laughs> Does, does your last serve you up some cucumber sandwiches, you think? Oh, I, I could just do a deep fry enough. Yeah. I've been the farm and a half. It's massive. I think, we, yeah, I think we've... Oh, that's good over the A9, surely. There's, there's a couple of huge ones. 
Except so if you look at this, it's this bit of land is sticking out effectively into the middle of the ocean. So there's, there's not an awful lot between the, the two. So it gets a lot it gets a lot of wind. Yeah. It's perfect really for, for those kind of resources. The currents and, and the tides yeah. Yeah, uh, for the yeah. uh, for sea generation. Lots of good for solar. I think if I'm, uh, I, I've heard south actually, unfortunately. I, I, I do love the scenery up here. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but the weather's so beautiful, isn't it? I'd head north. Yeah, well, I kind of, I kind of like that. I like the yin and the yang. I think that's why. Yeah. I, that's why I can. I couldn't do do Australia. You know, I, I do. I mean, no. California for a month would be fabulous. You, know, you get up every day in the sunshine, the blue skies. You know you can. Yeah. You know you can yeah. put your trunks on, go down the beach. You know you can plan stuff and do stuff. Yes, I get that. But after a couple of years, you just blue sky. Yeah, no one. Yeah. And then Australia, it's seven o'clock. It's going to be dark every day. We're down here. Seven o'clock. I miss looking at mountains more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. I love mountains and geology. Fascinating. Rocks. Can't beat it. All you hear, see here is buildings and flat fields. Yeah. Hills, but that's what they are, hills. <laughs> but just, just, I mean, I've only been to, to Scotland once and went to Edinburgh last year. I'm just driving and then watching the terrain change. Uh, just to some credit. That was like, which, which way did you go? Just straight up the uh, A1 or did you cut across? I went on the A1. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice straight thing. Coast. Nice, nice one from uh, once you get past uh, Anik. Uh, you see Holy Island, and you, you, you spot Lindisfarne. So no, I didn't, I didn't really concentrate a lot, to be honest. So what? It's my first on the road. Oh, right, yeah. Did stop off on the way back. What? Um, yeah, what, what beach was it that we stopped off here? Well, we stopped off at the beach, but I'm sure it was in England quite far north. But, and then we stopped off at the uh, edge of the north, way back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll pass that just, just because our lass is a uh, family well from Newcastle. Oh, right, right. I pass that every day, so I'm not even going to work. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they're all from Compton, I think. Oh, I'm not saying that. That's it. I think it is, anyway. I could be wrong. Oh, it was called Seacliff, it was, man, the beach was stopped off. Seacliff. I don't know if you've ever been. Seacliff Beach, it's in Scotland, it is. On the east coast. Beautiful little place, there's like an island out, maybe 500 metres, and there was a lighthouse on it. Whereabouts is it near? Oh, that's the place, isn't it? It's oh, near Edinburgh. It's, yeah. it's, it's like directly east of Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you've got the, the island, was, uh, it's, that's near Bass Rock, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just like a, a lighthouse, uh, a real white island. It was I don't know, one of those like chalk. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that's that's bass. That's bass rocks. So All the chalk is is uh, bird shit. Uh, so bass rock is the um, the la oh, right. largest gannet colony in, on the planet. Oh yeah. wow! wow. Um, yeah, beautiful beach. Anyway, it was lovely. Yeah, it's nice to go. I think I think we've. Uh, It, it, it was it was amazing. There was a massive red rock, and when I walked up to it, did, did someone obviously been there years, obviously, but they carved like a little part out so I could get the little fishing boat in. <laughs> it was absolutely incredible. Yeah, it was fascinating. It's always a bit of a stretch because once you get once you get off the Edinburgh bypass, that run down the east coast, it's tricky. Yeah. For, it's tricky for toilets. Uh, you you just got to pull in somewhere along the villages of it. Yeah, they're in about 
the big ones in about, let me think. I reckon those are, you see those from the 89. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So, uh, it's good. 20 to 30 miles, I reckon. Before the big one. They could actually fly over them, which is It would be, uh, I don't know how many spin. About three thousand, I think. Okay. Climbing. Oh, because I climb up onto the float path, I think, because you're too low. Um, but it was very off to the night. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. Hmm. Cute. Yeah, I was doing that, so I was turning off. Yeah, tools. Yeah. Also, the, you know, the magenta line on, on the VFR was yeah. long. It was wide. It's not a bit of a big turn. It just means you're not on the active leg. Is there a checkpoint you meant to, meant to sort of go to his thing? Um, well, you should have taken it across. Did he fly, fly Wick? Yeah. Yeah. Followed it pretty close there, actually. Yeah. yeah. And it's all there in the right place, but it's gone right just after Wick. Yeah. I don't mind it. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what the uh, that how the co-pilot works. You know, in terms of um, not being an autopilot. I should just follow the route, but I think it can be buggy. Have you got? Um, have you switched your autopilot on, Tony? Only on the. Menu across the top. Go yeah, to the flight assistant. Yeah, it doesn't like that. That will veer off every all over the place. Yeah, yeah. So what I would do is um, hand fly, hand fly your plane so you're so you're on that on that magenta line. Yeah. Uh, and um, what are you flying? What, what's it, it, has he got a G one thousand in it? Is it? You got two big glass screens. Yeah. Okay. See if you can find on that on that panel. See if you can find a button that says now November Alpha Victor. Yeah. So uh, there should also be a button that says uh, autopilot. AP. Basically, what we want to do is switch on your autopilot and then hit that nav button. And what that does is that that relates to the whatever flight plan you have sitting in in your GPS. Oh, it's getting cold here. Yeah. If you can stream your uh, if you can stream your to Discord. Okay. I tried to left control, alt and X Tony. Yeah, but it that. Is that autopilot, is it? Or is that the other? Uh, it's hand control to your co-pilot. Okay. 
<laughs> Mind me, it often accelerated, but then settled down after about 10 seconds. Yeah, see, mine did that a wicked. Mine lost, lost it, but then it, it, it basically flew itself in a loop, picked up the, picked up the uh, track, and then, and then it was, it was a wig. I'm running purely off um, the autopilot on the, off the GPS. There's a lot of atmosphere. What's been ruined? The atmosphere. Oh, should be a must, should be a wind farm. I'll just pull it to the rock. These are quite realistic. The textures don't they? Best ones have the cliff stick. Yes, I think. Good job. <laughs> There's always trees and flights in yeah, the weeds. I eleven had that a little bit, but there's some guy brought a mod out to uh The weather is nice at this one though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Right, so should we be coming up to waypoint? I'm not entirely sure. Well I've I've I've, I've, I've called the waypoint. What what's the waypoint called in uh, in your little left map? We're still, we're still like probably 15, 20 15 minutes, minutes away. Yeah. No, what's, what's, like what's, what's it? Run the shin. Yeah. Shin. Oh, right, okay. It is cool. Yeah, that's because that's I, I named the, that's the flight plan I sent across to you for the little landmark, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Um, yeah, because I, I, it, it's not a waypoint that's in the little lab map, it's a waypoint that I created and named. Uh, yeah. uh, same as leg. I think like Bombi. Bombi is um Bombi is uh, recognised waypoint. When I say recognised it's it's all the it's, it's an airway, so it's in real life. Lovely, it's not bleak as you've turned into a proper southerner, uh, Tony. <laughs> you're done for. <laughs> you're, a, you're a lost cause. <laughs> a little green, a little village green, a little, a little white a little white pub. Gin. Cricket on the cricket on the on the on the green. No, no, not gin. Pims. Pims. That's too sweet. Gins, gins. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at oh, the sun going through the top of the. What are you guys doing? Pull this back. Uh, 110. Okay. Okay, a fast cross speed. It's 120. I'll set. I'll settle at 120.
that in miles per hour? 150? On the right, what was that? Is I think that's Ben Hope, the biggest mountain that we can see there. Let's watch. Look, she's still another. Ooh, let me think. Less than oh. ten, ten minutes. Well, oh, uh, should talk. Should be ten. Twelve. Twelve miles. Definitely 12, about 12 miles away. And it should tell me the time to the next. Yeah, I was going to say, it should give you the, uh, that information. Should be available to me. Well, it's 50 minutes to EGPE. That's in with us. Yeah. Next waypoint to see. 14.4 um, nautical miles, 10 minutes. Truly in the tour now. Yeah. Tour, tour's underway. Uh, the only downside is I'm. Um, uh, not this weekend. Next weekend I'm away for two weeks. So I'm actually coming up here. I'm going to. Uh, I've got a week on the Black Isle. Uh, at uh, Fort Rose. And then I'm, then I'm going across to Isla Harris uh, for a week. You'll see Tintin. We had that on the Black Isle. Tintin? Tintin. Forger's Adventures of Tintin. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, one of them was the Black Dog. Ah, right. I know that. Yeah. I did not yeah. know that. Actually, now you mention it, I might have seen something. It is in the picture on the front. It's him in a little sort of motorised rope, sort of small boat, heading out to it with Captain Haddon. And it's a massive, great big foreboding rock. I'd like to know this mountain is here. It's big, isn't it? What we just flown over. It's a sail to be on that. That's beautiful. We should have to find out. It's going to be quite a road down there. Oh, I can see a car on the road. Too close. It's the A838, isn't it? That's what I love about this flight, is being able to relate what you're seeing in the sim directly to what's yeah. on, your yeah. map, on, your, on your maps. Three A. Yeah. I'm going to find out what that um, mountain is. I know it's quite a hoot doing, um, so you can do it the other way so you don't have a flight plan for your plane. You kind of you have a route kind of set on uh, on little man map and then you do proper VFR so you're relating what you see yeah what you see on the map to what you see on the ground. Uh, and that's really cool. And the next step up from that is doing uh, NDBs and VORs. Um, that's, 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 that's quite a good but it's that's old school. Say on Google Maps, either. Oh crap, I'll have to have a look at my app. Um, or the survey one. What's it for? Have you got OS Maps, uh, John? Have you got a subscription? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's 
brilliant, isn't it? I like f exploring it in 3D. Yeah, you, so <laughs> you've got... Uh, so it's, really, it's just so good. I mean, I, I do... Um, so I quite often for going to achieve it, so I'll research a route or a path or whatever, walk, no. and I'll, I'll map it out in OS Max. If yeah, that you could um, and then I sort of go along it. Yeah, virtually. and then I can save the .wpx, and I can load it onto my phone, and I can download the map, uh, so it's offline, so I don't need it, I don't need a signal, it just works off the GPS off your phone. And then I can also put the, that w.px .wpx into my Garmin watch. Yeah. And it uh, keeps me on, keeps me on the route. So it's just it's incredible. Really nice. I think. So I guess that's Ben Hope I can see. Big mountain. To our, to our left, is that? To our right, to our oh. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. Well, One that's kind of flat top with a peak yeah, on yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Where TDBS Scotland, T TDB Scotland is. Yeah. It's TBM9. Yeah. I think we're going to do a little, have a go at Little Evis. We did Ben Evis, which is 3,249. Oh, yeah. Um, WYMB. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah that's near where he lived, too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think, well, we should be able to see it when we get there. And then, uh, so I think we'll try Little Evis, which is just 2,500. Yeah. Right. How far now? Two miles. I'm halfway down, look shit. Oh, we haven't reached the point yet. What's the speed of you? There's more people at the sky with us now. I know, I've got a head sometimes. D86, SR22. Oh, these, are, these are all... These are all small geo... Oh no, there's a couple of FA18s. They'll be going to um, Lossingoth. TVM nines, then just slight C. Burning. Nice view down the lock there. I know it from maps. <laughs> I spent a lifetime exploring on Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the uh, fire's vehicle, you mean, the, the, the camera on the roof of the van? Yeah, and I just, well, on Google Maps, you can do terrain as well in 3D. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And because of the channel I religiously watch on YouTube. Oh, the Scottish Mountain Guy. Yep. It's a very good channel. It's worth watching. It really is. They all got a nice bloke as well, which sort of helps as well, really. He's not sort of pompous like some of them are, or... Genuinely excited about what he does, which helps really. Not like some of these American channels you get. Like, look at me, I've got, I've got it all, and I'm showing it off, sort of thing. You know? I hate that. Just a normal down to earth family man showing his love for his environment. Bit of weather approaching him. Yeah. 
Chris Wood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just took my headphones, just looked at the, the stream, make sure it was running. Came back, it was like deadly silent. Just came back, just came on in. That big mountain behind us, I think, is Ben Moore Asin, that is. So I'm coming up on leg. I'm doing 100, yeah. 100, 150. I've dropped to 110. Mm. Am I still way ahead of the body? Nope. The web has come out. Yeah, so. Oh, Scotty Dog, where's Scotty Dog? Oh, uh, should be just behind you. Are you oh, at the Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got you. I've got you. I've got I see Dave. Look, Flurry's just above me. I've just gone over there. Oh, you're shifting on a bit. I've backed up 120 knots. Yeah, I'm doing 127. Yeah, I've lost my true, true, true air speed, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I've just, yeah. 134 knots. Just directly in front of me, Tony. Yeah, I'm just sitting the pass in front. Oh, look at that, that's so nice. Just come, come into the sun there. And the shadows are coming across. It's definitely the best game ever for scenery, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they've got this. Yeah, well, you can actually go and sightsee in, isn't it? Yeah. Proper sun. Door knock first. I should better see the door knock first. Surely. You're not, you're not a fan of the dam. I hate dam. I love coasts. Monsters spread across the landscape. I think the Hebus, the Hebus range is going to be uh, going to be this way. So is this? We were, we're not able to pick the weather, are we? No. Weather, so oh, yeah, yeah. Cloud above us. Um, this, clouds. yeah, this this isn't live weather, is it? No, no. Sorry. This is just clouds. Right, so we're coming up on the that, this was the door lock first.
good stuff to our right. But it's where it's very narrow, yeah, the doorknob bridge. Um, there is a bridge there, the actual doorknob bridge is, is to our left. Um, That's the big bridge. Yeah, it stretches. Um, Tiny one to our right. No, it's the where the A9 runs up. I think it's. You see that a spit of land goes out to our left. Yeah. 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 Um. yeah I just hit one big. One big. Goes ahead of us now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. We should, we should see some oil rigs on it, shouldn't we? Yes. Yeah, so you can see the two headlands there. That's the uh, that's the Paps, isn't it? No, not the Paps. The Suitors. The north and south suitors, yes. So you see where the sun's shining on those on the on that little headland where the fields are. I'm assuming it's shining the same for you as it is for me. Oh yes. Uh, yes. So that's Cromarty on the uh, on the dark side and that's that's the two suitors. That's Moriarty. Yeah, see some little blocks in the water appearing there, so the yeah, the rigs. <laughs> they weren't there when I was six years old. Well, I wonder if they'll be out. I wonder if they'll be, go they'll be going back out because I mean, there's there's enough north, there's enough oil and yeah. gas in the North Sea to, to supply yeah. supply this country. And if we're not relying on the on the Ruskies, we need it again, yeah, I bet I bet there'll be a, there'll be a way out. I'd like to think so. Yeah, I'd like to think so. Irish monument, yeah, we're going to go uh, have a walk up there. I've not done, I've not done that one yet. That must have been there when you, well, how old were you when you left, Tony? Uh, six. Oh, I see what happened. Thanks, John. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the Thank uh, you. Uh, on it. Yes. Um, well, you're well ahead of me then. Oh, we can turn off. We can turn off and uh, do a loop. I'm, you want? I'm over the um, Norwich Firth at the moment. Uh, oh, right. We're just what, 20 miles, 15 miles behind. It. That's 10. Where are you guys? It's coming up to Cromarty first. Yeah. How used to be the Invergord and Invergord. Yeah, D D three three eight L or someone next uh Would you add a mini then? Would you add a We'll make you love it. We'll make you love it. <laughs> Why it's not we're finished? <laughs> <laughs> Galvanise you again. <laughs> so on the town on the right, sort of where I am, that, that might do wall or it, Edmonton. At the um, 
right up the end of the lock. So oh yeah, so you you got all you got all Ness first, and then Everton and Drummond. Yeah, it's probably Everton and Drummond. You can see. You're coming up on. Um, where are you coming up, Watson? You're coming up on in the Gordon. That is. That's got the big pier coming out. That's in the Gordon. That's in the Gordon because that's got the. Uh, that's where the the, the, the ferries tie up. I actually have to, I have to take you where, I, where I'm staying next uh, in a week or so. Fly, yeah. up, fly over four shores over, over the little little harbour I'm staying in. I'll do circuits, John, until you catch up. Now you switch to the manual of power. So have you turned, so Tony? Are you, are you manual flying now? Yeah. Where's Edmonton? Must be further back then, just down to my right. Hang on, mate. I'm going off auto power now, right? So you yes, if you basically stay on the on this track, heading up the Firth. Um, it's on the same side as uh, yeah. Edmonton is just. Uh, Are they oil rigs in the sea? Yeah, lot. Uh, Actually, if right. come to Firth. Tony, you see where the uh, you see where that big jet is uh, sticking out? The second one. Yeah, it's yeah. dead straight, yeah. and it's got a kind of grey concrete strip behind it. Evan yep. Edmonton's directly behind that. Just flying over. No, not because you're behind. Why are we going to Evan? Or? Uh, That's just where I live. That's where Tony lives. Oh, right, okay. Tony. Tony. Scotty, you, oh, you, so you can see you now. Yeah. Oh, no, just coming down. Yeah, so you, if, you, if you follow me through, I'm, I'm, So yeah. this. Yeah, I'd like to look at a rig first. It's like a rig waypoint and then I'll turn. So if you if you if you uh, stick with me, Tony, I'll take you over Everton Edmonton. I imagine it's something to do with the rigs then. Nicely done, those rigs. Yeah. Well, worth a, a well worth a look, you two. Kind of the bridges. So basically, this is Evanston coming up now. Yeah. And behind it, Drummond. So you must have been right on the river then, Tony. Yeah, we were. That was an old Air Force base, that's why. Oh, you was can it? see it makes a cross. How oh, was it? Uh, you can see the old airstrip there, look. Uh, was that a... Um, it, it wasn't... Uh, was uh, Air Force in the war. And my dad was uh, stationed there for six years, closing it. I can work for the Admiralty. I'm 500. Going I'm going round again. Just, just where we are to your right. Have a look again. You'll see on the ground there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a cross shape. And it's the old runways. I wonder if that was a sea base as well for seaplanes. I wonder if that's... Could it be? Um, it wasn't in use. Come on, John. You were there because the, the Admiralty closed it. You were six years old. You should have had this information at your fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Edmonton or...? Yeah. You see us, you see me. Oh. Yeah, you see where you are. Okay, so just directly underneath us. Is, um, you can see right on this. Oh, the yeah, it is. is it? I, I bet that was an old... Um, it's an old Air Force base. The old Air Force yeah. What, well, this jetty is? Yeah. Yeah, the, the jetty has sort of been built over the old runways. Yeah, you can see the, you can see the triangles. Ooh. Is that the A9 behind? Yes. Yeah. I couldn't drive. A9 and a B. 
Right, so uh, I'm going to I'm going to go off grid. I'm going to fly across the Black Isle to, and we'll come. Uh, let's go to Cromarty. You with you with us, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if we, if we, I'll give you a heading. So I'm basically just gone over, over the top of you guys. Uh, so you want to be flying about... Oh right, you've done a, a new turn. Yeah, go about 070. Basically head straight down, down east, down, down Cromarty Firth. Yeah. What is that big thing along that jetty now then? I don't know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out. Know. It almost looks like it might be a... It might be uh, oil pipe, you know, for the for the tankers that came in, or this like I don't know. What it is. Are, you, are you with me? You're going to turn around again. Yeah, yeah. I do remember those two headlamps. Oh it's no, so warmly connection lost. Oh no. Really? I was successfully connected. Well, just that weird. <laughs> I nearly crashed into first course in my plane. That wouldn't be good for an AE advert, would it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're coming up on the. Oh, unless you are on AE, of course. <laughs> so this is in, in the Gordon on our, on our left, where, where this narrows, and then on the right is uh, Udel Bay. Udel Bay. When, I, when, we, when we first came to the Black Isle, we stayed on, on, on the Cromarty on, on the right-hand side, on this headland. Um, it was all, for, all to do with the dolphins, because there's big, big pots of dolphins in uh, We're going to fly through these, through these two headlands here, uh, north and south of Suba. There's supposed to be, I think it's shoes, there's supposed to be giant shoes. Where is it? I do remember them, visually, I remember them very clearly. And then we'll hang a right. That's in the Gordon on the left. Though. That's in the Gordon. Yeah. It's in the oil port now, isn't yeah. it? it? Just used to be a small little Scottish yeah. town. And I've seen the big uh, cruise ships tied up there as well. Yeah. In the Gordon, Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Sam and I, we take a, when we go to Cromarty, you'll see the little Cromarty Harbour. I love Cromwell. Uh, and uh, we'd take a, a dolphin watching trip on a, on a, on a rib um, out, of, out of here. Uh, and then we'd go out into the into the Molly Firth and down down the edge of Cromwell. Just looking at your rigs. Yeah. yeah, it's cool there. Nice, that day. Engineering side coming out. Okay, so this is Nig on our left hand side and Cromarty on our right. Uh, there's a little ferry that runs from Cromarty to Nig, which is on just being really straight because the One of the rigs was just chopping up the fuel. <laughs> <laughs> it's to me as well. <laughs> oh, you close by. Yeah. Oh, God, there's another one there. Oh, I just missed the uh, this turret, the tower. I'm sorry, did you see it? But... You do. Yeah. Where's Dave? Dave. He's behind you. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a ship there. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna have a look. So I've just passed the uh, I've just passed the supers. I need to do a circuit here. Oh yeah, it's passing past pass, pass in Cromwell, you know. I'll go on to a bit and then come back in. Obviously we're then gonna hang a hanger right and run down the edge of uh, down the edge of the black eye which is 
on the Mori foot. Target of the town on the right is Cromarty. Cromarty, yeah. yeah. It went through a boom and a bust, um, so it did really well with all the fishing. Uh, and also it sent s some kind of cloth or something to, in, to uh, Inverness and then out uh, using ferries and boats. Quite uh, famous place, isn't it? Yeah. And then when the railways came, um, it did it did okay. But then they closed the line. They closed the line. And uh, it's all because it's com completely cut off. Yeah, not much else there. Oh, I don't know what else was there. Uh, fish, I suppose. Fish. Just fishing there. Yeah. Fishing. Yeah. Right, you're doing it, you're I'm, I'm coming back, I just saw you guys in camp. Yeah. You just, just go hang straight right. Yeah, it's very nice, very pleasant, very enjoyable that. I'll bore you to death with this, because this, this is where this is where we're going. This is where Sam and I'll be playing. With the canoe. With the canoe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want the boat, Sam. Ah. No, no. <laughs> we, Splash. We've got one. We've got one each. We we have tried a, a, a We have tried a, a, a tandem, or as they're known in the trade, the divorcer. Oh, no. uh, we've got one each. Yes, we've got one each. Where are you heading now? Down the down the Mori Firth. I'm heading for, um, there's a bit of land that says Rosemarkey and Fort Rose on your, uh, I'm just going to hug, hug the coast. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. so Fort Rose is where we're staying. Oh, uh, uh, cottage will be higher. And then we'll run down all the way down the Moramori first. We'll go over the North Keswick Bridge uh, and out to the top of Loch Lomond. That will bring us round. That lines up for It's actually dinosaur. Um, there's loads of caves and stuff, and archaeology down here. Uh, and there's, um, well, apparently, the, the British Isles were, were right down near the Equatorial Zone. Yeah, it's crap. Yeah. And it was a week ago. Yeah. Oh, a week ago. Yeah. And it's moved all the way up to where we are now. Yep. Hence, dinosaurs. Pangea, it was called, wasn't it? Pangea, that's right. Was it? Okay. Really like videos of years ago. What was that? I'm watching my generic MSF plane with a propeller that doesn't turn. Is that me? Is that you coming up, is it? Yeah. Sort it out, Microsoft, come on. I'd like to see planes, my friends are actually flying. So I'm, uh, I'm going to aim for the top of this headline. This top of this uh, plum promontory that sticks out. So that's 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 uh, Channel Point. That's where we will stand and watch the dolphins. Because it's really, really deep channel between these two points. On the left is Fort George, very, very old um, army barracks. It looks like it's from 1700s. Crackers. And they still they still do live, so you've got to go right the way around the edge of the land because they do live firing from there on the into the Yeah. Oh, so you don't want to paddle over there, but I'm staying. No, we don't. You, is it, is it, is it on the charts? Is, is it, uh, and so you'll, yeah. there should be a lighthouse on the. <laughs> there should be a lighthouse on the end of this uh, promontory. That's uh, that's Channery Point. So that's where we go to stand. There, which, which is the so the dolphins. The, the water rushes through here. It's a really deep channel. It's full of salmon, salmon running and spring. Uh, and then we'll run down. Yeah, that's Fort George. Yeah. It's, it's not a great representation, but it is quite blocky like that. It's, it's a bit more than just it. Yeah, it's fun. It's almost pretended just that. 
Oh, a block of warehouses. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I'll send you a picture on it, should be like. Some generic building, some 1700s. Yep. <laughs> Sort it out, man. Son, oh, come on. <laughs> Get your shit together. <laughs> and this has to be the windiest golf course on the planet. If the thing is, they should toss it out. This is the most expensive game. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. £110, pounds, isn't it? Yeah. Tony, yeah. Tony, hang a right and follow follow oh, this. Right, uh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, where's the golf course? Oh, right here. I can see it. Yeah. On this headland. Yeah, so we follow. Oh, yeah. Follow 500. And we'll come up to Fort Rose, and there's a little harbour. You should be a little harbour. Uh, the golf course again. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's just crazy. See them out there in all weathers. Is that, yeah. There's a camper van site on there as well, which is a hell of a view. Oh yeah, probably. So what's uh, uh, so this town just here then? Fort Road. Fort Rose. This is this is where we go. Uh, Fort Rose. Yeah. Yeah. One word, isn't it? There's a little harbour, and our cottage like, is like just Rose. right. Is right, right where that harbour is. Oh, just say with little boats on it. Yeah, that's that's uh, cool. oh, actually, um, Penelope Keith has, has a house there. Too. Yeah, they won't understand her. Yeah. <laughs> hey? Oh, Penelope Keith. Penelope Keith. Jerry. It's a bit, bit posh, like. Yes, yeah, a bit posh. Uh, uh, she's a bit she, I've never seen her. So we're going to run up to uh, Keswick Bridge, which is up, and then up past Inverness to the top of Peely uh, Firth and Loch Ness. Turn it around. Right. So how long will it take to drive up here? It's only five hours. Five? Yeah. Two hours. Right. Mm. Uh, it that, took me that to edit it, was five yeah, hours. Yeah. That's Munlocky Bay in there. So we've uh, got the right, yeah, the right. we've, we've, we've kayaked up here and it's brilliant because there's a little on the uh, on the western side of it where that headland is, there's a little beach at the bottom there. And you can't get to it, there's no paths, there's no roads. So, so it's just just a tour on this little beach. Underfit. Pretty well. Kill me. Oh, Kill me. That's got. It's got like one tiny wee road to get to it. It's a little cottage in the past. Hell of a hell of a deal. And a red letterbox. Any village with a red letterbox is good. So is this what the bridge really looks like, or was it a generic? Uh, it's a generic. No, it's, not, it's not far off. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> you know the bit where it dips into the water violently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the southern end. No, that's <laughs> so generic. Oh yeah, look. Sure, if you drive a car there at speed, it'd take off. I thought the cars were actually yeah. in the water, they're not, they're not on the bridge, they're, they're just following the road that goes under the bridge. Maybe, maybe they're all James Bond Lotuses. Yeah. yeah. What's this town here? This is in Venice. Oh, this is in Venice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's even up next to the distance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to go around, I'm going to kind of go. They're along. throwing out lakes of water there, yeah. like spinning lakes. Eight cars. They're doing about 80 as well, aren't they? Yeah. Fantastic. It's <laughs> ridiculous, it's what it is. Sort it out, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new, that's the new, uh, that's, that's the descri new descri <laughs> description on the stream. Yeah. Microsoft Flight Simulator sort it out, Microsoft. Sort it out. <laughs> I'm not the only one, I've been reading the forums, it's just, it's a cesspit. This <laughs> man. <laughs> Sort it out, Microsoft. The problem is that they kind of set themselves. Really, it's, it's it shouldn't be about the. It's odd, isn't it? Because it's a 
it's a flight sim, so it should be like the flight yeah. model and the aircraft is. But yeah, the being able to being being out, yeah being able to have a having proper scenery that's relatable to, to the real world is also a yeah. massive part of that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and they've done. I mean, ninety percent of it is it's just astonishing, really. Yeah. Uh, in so terms right. of we don't we're not storing this on our machines either. It's, it's been streamed to us. There, off there is your platform. Right, so I'm going to set myself up for London. I'm going to come. The thing, once they've sorted it out, and it, people, all the third parties have had a go at it, yeah. they've made everything accurate. Yeah. Yeah. And it will come. Yeah. Well, absolutely. They'll come as DLC. Yeah. So they'll be like land packs. You know, with, uh, hey, hey. Is it Orbex? Orbex that Orbex. doesn't... Or, yeah, once yeah. It, they're Australian, aren't they? ORBX. Yeah. Once they've got their hands on it and done a few packs and things like that, and cool. it'll be amazing. Yeah, There's a lot of high resolution sort of terrain maps for it now and things like that. Isn't it? Yeah, they're just they're just doing photogrammetry basically. Uh, I've, I've got I've got Orbex for uh, X Plane Eleven, so I've got, uh, I've got North, I've got Scotland North and. What's it like compared to this Scotland? Uh, it's not bad. It's better for trees. There's also a thing called Sam uh, scenery, which means what well, you can set it for autumn. And it's, it's autumn, all the trees are all coloured. And in the winter, there's snow everywhere. Which I think is probably going to come to come to this. I'm, I'm turning for. Uh, I've just flown over where it's cut in the forest. So you can make out all the electricity pylons. Oh yeah. But then you see that's stored on, on your machine and it's gigabytes of data, whereas this is this is true. And this is really yeah, it's very nice. Which is the more more accurate looking though? Colour wise, this is better colour wise. No. Uh, the Orbex is a little bit washed, a little bit sort of this I think because the way that they, they do the light. better on the uh, on the scene. I'll I'll do a comparison job, I'll do a comparison for you. If you give me give me uh, somewhere that you want you want to go fly over, I'll I'll do I'll do it for you. I'm setting myself up for landing. Is that out of sky or something like that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to see what it's like over the mountains. Oh, okay. if, it, if, it's, if it looks really good over the mountains, I'm going to see it again. I'd wait, John, because XP12 is coming out fairly shortly. I say fairly shortly, they're working on it, so that's going to have DX12, DL, DLSS. Uh, updated weather, so it can be actually be active weather, uh, real-time weather, uh, and I think yeah, the flight model is. If you're into doing the full, the full um, GPS, flight planning, um, all that sort of stuff, all the systems on board, X Plane Eleven at this point in time does it better in terms of it's not a buggy. Uh, so assuming they carry that through into an X Plane Twelve. And the, and the scenery is anywhere close to this. I think you'll probably still have to have a third party photogrammetry, I think. Um, I haven't flown XP11 for a long time. Having flown, because I can fly the Piper, the P8 is you know, it's just flight plane, uh, which is so nice. And then with the, with the, with the 310 coming. Cessna 310, yeah. Oh, the big Cessna? Yeah. Oh, the one we were talking about, John Lander. No, oh, not, the not, not, the, not the Caravan one, this is the twin engine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The new one is. Yeah. 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 I, 
but I, we were looking at it on Wikipedia the other day. Yeah, it's absolutely. I mean, they're, they're, I was talking to John about it earlier on. It's, I was going to get the 146, but I think I'm, I'm more excited about the 310. Uh, it, it had been coming out soon for a long time, and then they just suddenly announced that today actually they did a live stream, uh, and it's come out tonight. And it's on. Um, it's on. It's on for 39.99, which is a hell of a price really. Because it was, I think we were all expecting between 70 and 80 quid uh, for it. It's so cost a bit like a PDMG. Yes, it's, it's a, that's going to be very affordable. Um, it's all about planes. Have a try. How many of them? Now? One, two, three of them. Around the lower end of the marketplace, mm -hmm. Mark. They're still nice. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. No, they are. They're, they're, the difference with these is, it's just, it's how deep it goes into the simulation. Oh, yeah, study sim. Yeah, so study sim. Yeah. Um, so you know the the rest are really really good. The flight models will be, will, will be spot on. Um, just they might drop a bit in the, in the PBR textures and maybe the quality of the, uh, the gauges and stuff. But it's it's really the, the integration. Um, in terms of you know like like you find tonight, you you, you find exactly the same experience that we all had flying. Five hundred. Yeah. Looks like an anteater. Yeah. Oh, it does. That's not another one, is it? Literally, does look like an anteater. Yeah. <laughs> that do. Are you ahead of me? No, no. Just say. <laughs> Get it here first. Approaching. Approaching. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Tickets, please. Away, that they would disappear, John. The other planes would disappear. I'm oh, sure. It's it's only because we got the name plates on. Yeah, I know. No, it's only a week. Could be worse. Could be Ryanair. I'm going to slam this into the runway like a Ryanair. Yeah, I think it is a UK 2000. He's done a nice one, it's one of yeah. his newer ones. Yeah, it's I'd like one for some, I hope that someone does Scotland, like scenery wise. Because I'm jumping on that, like. Nobody's business. Well, there's loads of little airfields that, they, that people are doing, aren't they? You know, there's the. Generic, tiny little glass strips and stuff, and then people are going, like doorknock. I was going to stop at doorknock on this one, and I got I got doorknock down. I went on to flightsoon.to and someone had done. Oh, really? Someone's done it. Done a little version of doorknock. It just cleaned up the grass, put markers down, put a few foot, put a few buildings right. and stuff. Um, but the MLS one is, is lovely. Outing. <laughs> I got told off by air traffic control. I wasn't clear to land because I was too close behind Dave. I have to, to turn mine off. <laughs> Not clear to land. Clear the runway. Oh, look at that. 
was handing it like an F1 car. <laughs> slid that around the corner. My sim racing skills coming in there. <laughs> I made it as well, a lot quicker than I should have been. Oh, we've made good time, it's half past, it's half past nine. Yeah. It's only nine and a half, good. Oh, it's a search and rescue helicopter base here. Yeah. There's loads of... I've got loads of aircraft uh, statics. Busy dealing with submariners that don't know how to climb mountains properly. Yeah, I keep falling off Ben Nevis in their flip-flops. Yeah. And their flip flop of shorts and sunglasses. <laughs> oh, Mark's floating in the air like a UFO. You know yeah. why? It's because it it's, it's an add on, add on airfield and it's got oops, slightly oh, oh, different. Oh, oh. Oops. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I it's didn't got, either. It's got a slightly different uh, altitude thing. Oh, of course, yeah. It'll be. That's the one. Oh, brilliant. So whose fault's that? Oh, it's no, it's no oh. one's really... Um, I think it's probably... Uh, Microsoft. Yeah, Earth. And, <laughs> I, and I, I think they probably need to... Um, sort it out. <laughs> got, got there in the end. <laughs> Tony has got me talking like that. It's all the um, Sweeney. The cutty slang in the Sweeney and stuff. Sort it out. Slag. You slag. <laughs> Chocks well, at least Dave's got the. Fuel's off. Is that Dave next to me, I think? Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, are you? Oh, I can't say, do I smell or something? Because your flag off runway. Uh, no. It's your generic plane that's done it. It's such a shame because it's so nice. Hey, that went better than I expected. That was nice. Very nice. Right, so looking at looking at little nav map, I was thinking about going leg two straight down Loch Ness uh, towards Fort William, and then I think I was going to head out to some kind of on a line with Oban, somewhere kind of out but out towards the east, Crane Lark, Tindrum, somewhere around there, Bridge of Orkey. There's some big hills there. Yeah. So if you've got any any suggestions or any preferences. Yeah. I think so leg two probably down down then out to one of the islands and then I think leg three will be across Glasgow, Edinburgh, then down past Berwick and Newcastle because that's all my neck of the woods. Yeah. And then um we can do a whole Lincoln, can't we? For uh, for Dave and yeah. John. And then uh, maybe across in, into Wales. Mm. It's definitely worth um, uh, having a, a look across Glasgow because then you see how big it is. Yeah. You don't realise what a massive, massive city it is. Oh, Glasgow's huge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go do Glasgow, Edinburgh, mm. across the top, North Berwick, down the east coast then. And we'll, yeah. end, we'll end up in, in uh, Newcastle or Teesside or something. And then run down, yeah. do Lincoln Hull, and then across. Oh, how far down is Hull? So we could go across straight across west, couldn't we? Manchester. Mm. Yeah. So when is your next flight here, Mark? Is it before well, you go away or after you come back? I think it's realistically unless I could, I could possibly do a week today. If that's my last possibility. Sunday night's no go because it's it's a Grand Prix, isn't it? Uh, it is. And it's live about eight o'clock, so uh, that's the yeah, yeah. So 
normally I'd be in the gym on a Wednesday night. Hang on, let me just turn the uh, turn the stream off. Good, Good night, night stream. stream. Good night, stream. Yes, that, that was leg one. Thank you for your company, if, if there was anybody. 